a CU, vitamin C product can make you darker. In fact, many products that are designed to help hyperpigmentation can actually do the reverse, can create hyperpigmentation. And that is because a lot of them have ingredients that mess with your melanocytes. The melanin is the color in our skin. And so anytime you're suppressing it, you're trying to fade it away, there is a dysregulation that happens within your cells and they basically, for lack of a better term, they just freak out. Now they're like more susceptible to going wild, creating more darkening. So you really have to know what ingredients go into the bottle. It is not about whether it's a vitamin C serum or vitamin C cream, it's about what is in the formula itself. I know that's very difficult. Not everybody is a chemist, not everybody is a skincare expert. Um, so that is why I curated a product collection on my website that I feel from all of my research, all of my experience is the most gentle and skin compatible that I'm able to find on the market. There are also a lot of courses that can help you understand what to look for, you know, what are the good ingredients, the bad ingredients, but just saying the term vitamin C means nothing um, because there's ascorbic acid and then there are other forms of vitamin C. Ascorbic, for example, is a vitamin C that is extremely fragile, that oxidizes, that can cause sensitivity, that can have a lot of issues. And then there are other vitamin C ingredients that can actually improve your skin. On the other hand, a lot of vitamin C products are infused with alpha hydroxy acids and citrus. I see this as a common thread, especially in natural products. I've been asking a lot of the beauty brands that I work with and consult for to remove those ingredients just because they're popular, just because they're trendy. A lot of chemists have been using them for decades in anti-pigmentation products. It doesn't mean that they're suitable for human skin. And that's a huge problem that we have in the skincare industry. Citrus should be removed from skincare, period. Everybody that's watching this video, if you take a few minutes and go grab all of your serums and moisturizers, I guarantee you'll find citrus in there, especially when they're natural. And so what to look for, what are citrus ingredients? You'll find, especially citrus essential oils, they interact with the sun and they can trigger hyperpigmentation and also sensitivity. And so you want to look for, you know, bergamot, neroli, orange, uh, orange peel, lemon, lime, grapefruit, all of those are in the same family and all of those have really great potential to make your hyperpigmentation darker or even induce it in the first place. They can be a trigger for hyperpigmentation. And so as we approach summer, a lot of us are gonna be spending a lot of time outside. It is time to start scanning those ingredient lists and here is the worst product with citrus is sunscreen. As I was actually curating products on my website, that's still one of my biggest issues is finding sunscreens that are citrus free. It's very, very difficult. And I can call out a few other ingredients that can cause hyperpigmentation. So the first one to come to mind is hydroquinone. That's typically prescription, although in the US it's still uh, you know, being sold over the counter, unfortunately, because people are usually seeking very very fast results and hydroquinone can give you those fast results because it's a bleach. I think of it as Clorox, as if you're just bleaching the surface of the skin, cannot really do much within the skin, but just on the surface. So you'll see that very quick improvement in hyperpigmentation and a lot of people down the road in a few months, they start seeing that kind of turn against them and uh, they see that pigmentation darkening and getting a lot more aggressive. So uh, watch out for that ingredient, watch out for alpha arbutin, uh, kojic acid, all of those are quite aggressive, but especially the first two, hydroquinone and alpha arbutin. And you guys vote with your dollars. So I would love to put some pressure on beauty companies to stop using citrus in their products. So you know, educate yourself, read the ingredient labels, and purchase products that do not have those harmful ingredients. And they might not be harmful in the sense that they're carcinogenic and hormonal disruptors. I actually wrote a recent article on LinkedIn about how clean beauty is really not the answer. And it's because of these very issues that I'm raising right here. Lemon is not gonna cause cancer or grapefruit. They're very good for you internally, but they're not suitable for the skin topically, and nobody's really talking about that. So read your ingredients, get educated, find the resources on my website and start scanning 
those ingredient lists, at least for the ingredients that I mentioned in this video. More on thebeautydoctor.com.